you may move forward, Lord. I also pray, Lord, for I also pray, Lord, for this, uh, the family and friends of uh, Michael Montgomery, who, as you know, is now with you, Lord. And we just pray that you comfort them, Lord. And we ask all this in your name. Amen. Amen. Place your hand over your heart. Repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Okay. We're at the Maywood City Council meeting. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, I have not much to report. I just want to wish you all had a great Thanksgiving surrounded by family and friends and your loved ones. And um, we heard about the tragic passing of our city attorney, Michael Montgomery. May he rest in peace. Thank you. Wow, city attorney, Thank you. dude. Uh, I also like to say that you know, uh, it's very sad to hear that. Uh, Mike Montgomery is no longer with us. Today, around uh, 2 30 in the morning, he uh, passed away. Jeez. And, uh, you know, people like me, you know, we're going to need a good guy. Uh, and also, uh, I'd like to invite uh, everybody to uh, light the Christmas tree on December 8th. It's on a Saturday. Hopefully, uh, uh, everyone can be uh, with us to celebrate. Okay, so I have to report and thank you for uh, being here tonight. Uh, could be uh, participation, agenda items only. At this time, the speakers wishing to address the city council and items on the agenda will be gone. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, uh, go ahead. Uh, thank, you, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Gary, you want to make some comments? I can just briefly look at the city clerk. Uh, also, uh, there's going to be a Christmas celebration at the YMCA. Maywood is one of the most dysfunctional city councils. So, just like to remind everybody, uh, as the mayor said, that on Saturday, December 8th, at 5 p.m., we'll do the tree lighting ceremony in City Hall. And as soon as we uh, find out the details from the YMCA, we will put it on the city's website. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, uh, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor and uh, City Council. Uh, the reason that I'm speaking today, and I think we already know, uh, I sent a couple emails, uh, text messages, uh, actual city emails uh, over the past couple of weeks to the City Council. Uh, it's been a couple of years that Councilman Dilariba and I, at times, have gotten along. You know, we work together, and unfortunately, you know, as soon as I disagree with him or his uh, Decisions, you know, I get attacked. Um, he sent me inappropriate, yes. unprofessional text messages over the course of the last two years. For the most part, I let them go. I figured, hey, it's just a thing between two elected officials, one back and forth. But it got to the point where I got tired. I got, I, I felt harassed. Uh, I asked Councilman De La Riva several times, and I will look in the face, as so you can sit there and say no. Several times, please stop. Then I knocked. I even went out of my way to reach out to your peers, Council Minister Valencia, who's willing to come in here and speak on my behalf. I reached out to Councilman Markovich from the city of Cudahy as well, and if I said, well, what'd you say? I was crying like a bitch. Mm -hmm. And then what'd you, all, what'd you say? Uh, I'm your daddy, you're my daddy, bitch? Or should I keep going? The, me the text messages were seen by the city manager, by the mayor. I also showed them to the deputy city clerk. And I can go on and on and on to an attorney that I've been talking to. At this point, the only reason I'm talking to you is because you're the new leader starting next week of this community. I want to start fresh with you, and I'm willing to work with you and your team. But you need to be a little more professional with me, and we can move on. It's a new year come it's Christmas, and I'm going to say what I have to say because it's going to be on record because my attorney already advised me to continue. It's going to be a lawsuit coming against the city and against you. At this point, I'm not following that route. I don't think I should, but I'm tired of you. I'm tired of your evil parade coming in front of my house, in front of Carlos' house, in front of Joaquin's house, in front of the mayor's house, while your people are hunting and making sure they stop and yelling my name out. 
Not to mention the fact that they were illegal parades because you have no permission from the city council to do them. Not to mention the fact that you broke vehicle codes <coughs> and public safety codes because you guys are taking stop signs off the stop. Okay? Now you're the people who can say whatever they want to say, but that's the facts of the facts, and I got two on video. With that said, that's all I have to say. I hope I make my keys. It's on record, so in case it happens in the future, there you go. Still being disrespectful. I will never bow down to you, just so you know. I stand up to you, and I always will, just like I'm doing right now. I don't care who your team is. I will work for you. Make myself clear. Okay? <coughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Thank you Mayor. Mayor.